he's such a mentor and a and a guide to me and to other people and he is so kind and wants to make sure everyone around him feels that they are thriving in what they're doing and that they're proud of their own work so he's really transparent in the process and wanting to check in with you and wanting to design something with you so that you are, you're having autonomy and agency as a creative coming into this process. And the relationship that he has with McHugh is very symbiotic. So you, it's like I had two amazing uncles who were also my kind of, you know, my, my coaches in the ring that were, and also I always had this vision that they were more like, you know those guys when, you, when people are curling? that sport and they're like doing that and they're like making sure that the ice is going. I felt Tom and McKee were like that for me. They're like, come on, you can do it, you can do it. I did all the stunts myself. Part of the audition was to, was, a, was a stunt audition to see my natural abilities, but also to be my coordination and the kind of things that I might want to learn how to do. There was one moment where during a train carriage sequence, it goes from horizontal to vertical in six seconds, and we have to run on a steep incline and get up, get to our mark before it gets to the vertical point, otherwise you're, you're hanging. And I remember doing it like six times and resetting, and Tom looking at me going, are you okay? I remember going, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what I don't know. And he went, you need some chocolate? I was like, yeah. Hmm? That's exactly what I need. I suddenly in that moment knew exactly what I needed. It was chocolate. And then I was able to go and go again. And that was kind of a moment of kind of levity, in, you know, because it's, it's, we, we filmed that for months and months and months. And you see it in the film. It's absolutely spectacular. Incredible, incredible piece of movie making. Yeah. I mean, to get that call to work with him again is, I mean, it's a thrill. He's a great guy. You know, he's not just a great guy. He's an incredibly talented actor incredibly talented stuntman. I mean, the guy puts his life on the line for his fans on multiple occasions. And a very talented director, so, I mean, a producer, rather. And so, you know, he wears all these caps and he does them brilliantly. You know, he's just a, an extraordinary guy. He's, there's a reason he's the biggest movie star on the planet, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. When, when they started writing this movie, AI wasn't really on everybody's lips. And uh, as we proceeded, uh, it started to become a thing. And now it's, on, it's in the zeitgeist. So, I mean, Chris and Tom had their finger, their, their, their thumb on the pulse of, of, of what people were talking about. And suddenly now we've, we've got a subject matter that's really prescient. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really cool. We, we, we've, been, we've been saying it's kind of amazing that Tom and... Um, Chris conceived of this idea years ago, and so it must have been somehow in everybody's, you know, subconscious or conscious, that, you know, where we have technology everywhere around us all the time. It's, you know, seemingly benign, except for the fact that we relate to it more than sometimes other people. I mean, you speak more on a phone than in person sometimes, and I think that in itself we're probably not that aware of anymore. So the fact that there's this kind of omnipresent uh, consciousness that's the threat to humanity, I think is a really interesting, very extremely relevant uh, thing. And I think that's why it's, I don't know, I really hope that it will appeal to everybody in some ways and kind of get us to open the conversation up everywhere because it's not just, you know, a nation, it's completely global. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh my God, I think I did like every, everything myself. I mean, yeah, um, I, I trained so hard for the movie, but it was amazing, you know. I did some, um, of course, stunt training, fight training, um, some sprints, some uh, endurance training, some, you know, you have to make sure that you can, you can last, uh, you know, like, and you can last, this sounds so weird, <laughs> that you can, like, push yourself throughout the shoots. It's a very long shoot, so you have to do, uh, be able to do so many takes in a row and, and shoot action scenes several days in a row as well, you know? So, um, and I then I got to do this incredible fight scene with Tom, you know? My, now my problem is, like, how can I top doing that, doing a fight scene with Tom Cruise, you know? He's the best person to fight in a, in a movie. Um, I had so much fun doing that. No, but in Mission Impossible movies, it's amazing because you get to do things also in real life and on locations, you know? For example, at some point, I, I, I run on top of a train, I jump between the carriages, and we did that for real, you know, with a moving train. You know, usually you do these things in studios, with, but with someone like Tom, you're able to really experience the thing for real.